Oh guys, it's been a while. Happy Christmas. Happy Boxing Day. Yeah, it's been a bit of a, a busy time for me personally. So today's the only time I thought, right, I can actually get out and go and sit in the shed and have, have a bit of fun and no responsibility. Grabbed hold of him and Mike, you've not done anything in a while, so you need to set up and get in there and do something. So I thought I'd better do a little update at least. So I've had a few changes in here again. It's getting there, I've seen there's just too much inspiration going on on YouTube. I see too many great ideas and nice helps, and I'm thinking, Mike, this isn't some crash, this isn't some playroom, this is serious shit. You need to get it sorted out. Hence the changes. You know, we've got the bigger TV, we've got the nicer stand, I've got my Commodore 64 Mini in here, the Mega Drive still flourishing on the CRT, you know, I'll get me, me little model statues set up, I might even flip in a little tour later before, before I shut down and, uh, <laughs> and you know what. So, um, what I'm going to do is today, I'm going to, I've got so much stuff over Christmas, you know, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen some of the stuff I've been getting, so... Um, and they'll they'll probably go. I'll put them on a on another show at another time. Um, but right now, let's just keep this. Let's just get back to basics here. So I had uh, this isn't a Christmas present, by the way. Um, I bought the Midway Arcade Treasures um, for the for the PlayStation Two. And again, I've got another one somewhere, aren't I? My other my other one wasn't working, I don't know if you remember me saying, I was really gutted um, and then I got this one turned up and it worked and then it stopped working and it's working again so, oh it's absolutely brilliant um, I actually got it for Gauntlet to be honest with you, and Super Sprint uh, the main games I wanted, and Rampage sorry but yeah everything else on there, yeah, Roll Blasters was a game I was brilliant at in the arcade um, but I'm not giving you a demo on that so, what I am going to show you is I'll give a quick snippet on on the midway treasures and one second oh, hang on a minute I've got yeah arcade treasures 2 didn't work unfortunately uh, but I've got a feeling it is my PlayStation 2 that's playing up um, I also got from uh, overseas some Mega Drive carts so I'll give you a quick flash on I'll maybe not do all of them but the ones that I really do want to do, unless we're playing otherwise, is the Rolling Thunders. You know, if you've seen any other shows, you know it's quite a nostalgic game for you. Rolling Thunder 1 is anyway, but the Rolling Thunders um, look really good. Uh, I've got a Vampire Killer, which I believe is like Castlevania. I'm not too sure, but it's a Konami, so should be a good little side platformer. A 2D platformer, and we've got another rolling. We've got Rolling Thunder 2 and Rolling Thunder 3. We've got Vampire Killers, and we've got Slam Dunk, which is an animated series in Japan, I think. Um, a basketball game. I'm sort, of, I'm sort of hoping it might be a bit like NBA Jam. Uh, I like the look of the graphics on it, so it might be quite interesting. If it's, if it's worth me showing you, I'll show it. If not, then I won't. So I hope you've all had a, a good Christmas. Um, mine's been okay. I think I unwound too much. So I found myself uh, this morning. I got up like full of energy. I went to bed really late, but I had a bit of a lay in. I don't lay in me. And I laid in till 10. And I got up, had some breakfast, I had a coffee. You know, Michelle made me a fantastic coffee this morning. Um, not that she makes me coffees every day, it was just like she was up and probably thought, get your ass out of bed, pal, and brought me a coffee up, but it was a delicious coffee. Um, yeah, so, and, and after that, I just sort of went into this sort of uh, mode. And I do it every Christmas. Honestly, you could be convinced for a minute you've got COVID or something. I just seem to slump from room to room. Like last night, we had Christmas dinner, it was fantastic. And, uh, I just, I was absolutely shattered. Obviously, you're drinking in the day. You drink, it's like the only day you drink from like 12, 1 o'clock onwards, isn't it? You know, and I wasn't doing going crazy or anything. I was having a Jack D here in there, Jack D and Coke here in there. 
wind my meal. When I finished the meal, I was absolutely zonked. I, honestly, I was, I just couldn't motivate myself. So I got this morning, this, yeah, the plan was to be in here this morning before everyone was awake. Like fuck I was, I was absolutely shattered. So, uh, I went a bit of a walk before, I had to go and get some, uh, <laughs> kids are making cookies. So I went and got some greaseproof paper from the shop. I thought, you know what, I fancy a couple of beers, so I got me some Heinekens. I thought, right, now's the time, now's the time. They're, watch they're watching a the film. You've got the cookie dough ready to get in the oven. It's all, you know, the dirty work's done. You know, a bit of, a bit of self-preservation, a bit of sanity saving now and get myself out here and, you know, have a bit of a blast on something. That's what all this shit's about, innit? So, uh, yeah, so here I am. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break away from this and um, give you a little bit of footage of what I've bought and I hope you guys like it. Okay, thanks so much, see you in a bit. Okay, so I've got on the arcade treasures, Midway arcade treasures. Um, I'm not gonna play Roll Blasters. I'm gonna go back to the main menu. It's not listening. Yeah, quit this, quit. <clears throat> and I bought this for Gauntlet. I'm just not sure if it's the game. Let's have a look. Let's, let's just, a, a couple of seconds on this and uh, we'll move on. Okay. Here we go. Mother. And this is what happens. Hi guys, we're back. So, I've got Rolling Thunder 2 on. Uh, I'm just going to angle that camera a little bit better. There we go. So, Quick demo on this. I hope this is as good as what I remember the first one being. To honest with you, I didn't even know these were available on Mega Drive. Um, <clears throat> and I actually found out through... Oh, I can't remember what it was on now. Let's not get me going down some uh, tangent. I'm trying to... My New Year's resolution, guys, I'm going tangent free. Okay? So I'm not going to go on about any other subject, purely in the matter at hand, if you know what I mean. So I'm sure you'll all be relieved of that. Yeah. <laughs> won't, buy, won't find me talking about anything else again, other than the matter at hand. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, let's get started. So this is on my Mega Drive 2. You know, what a buy. That controller is so solid. I don't know, just such a good system. All right, one player, let's start. Let's get the volume up on this a little bit. Okay, guys, you ready? We don't watch that bullshit. <clears throat> Clearance, JC Cal, Rolling Thunder, from WCPO HQ, Omega. Situation as follows. I'm not going to read all that. Okay. Cutscenes, 16 bit cutscenes. Brilliant. Get ready. Some of the sound quality is a bit of shit to be honest. That gun's great, but that Super that Nintendo Impact shot sound is crap. They should be able to walk through these doors. Movement's pretty good, movement's pretty much like but he jumps to railings quite similar to the arcade, so that's still really good to be honest. Uh, you get the machine gun. Oh, the machine gun sounds crap as well. Oh. I don't know if I, I, don't know if I can play uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors with the music. The imp 
crap sound on the baddies is crap. What is... Ah, that was better. You should be able to jump down at any time. It's not that of ammo. Yeah, I'm going to be honest, the PSP, the original on the PSP is... You know, for obvious reasons, the uh, memory and everything, but I expected a little bit more. When you look at games like Robocop v Terminator, where, I don't know, it's just so good. Right, so I've got more ammo. You go in the doors, you get more ammo. The character graphics are really good. The sound is like Master System. I know I'm being a bit critical. You know, this is actually, I think this is quite expensive to buy um, a legit as well, so. You know what, okay, guys? My patience is wearing thin with this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on Rolling Thunder Free and just see what the differences are on that. Okay, guys. See you in a minute. Hey right, guys, so we've got Rolling Thunder Free on. It looks sharper at the minute just by this, the intro alone. But we'll see. Okay, so we're going to get this game started. Okay, so let's fire this up. Remember what I did with the controller, here it is. Okay. Nineteen ninety three. time in the out of, uh, in the out of, what's it uh, Dragon Ball Z <laughs> he was last seen in the Southern California he was last seen in colors he was get it right Mike he was last seen in Southern California I investigate immediately investigate immediately Good hunting. Yes, sir. Uh, sorry, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting a bit carried away there. Oh, what's this? Shotgun, what the hell? This is a total turn now. Let's go for... Full auto. Oh, this is much better. Sound effects are better and everything. They don't blow up. Oh yeah, got a bit of gore going on. This is... Not sure about his bell bottom, his uh, boot cut jeans though. Oh, sound effects. What the hell was going on with Rolling Thunder 2? Seriously. Oh shit. I'm fucking dancing here. Whoa! Wish the bullets were a bit faster, but you know, beggars can't be choosers and all that. Can I 
get up on there. Yeah, oh no. Wow. Character designs quite a distance from the original. You know what? It's not too bad. Bullets are slow. Might be different to get the machine gun. Let's have a look. Gotta be a machine gun in here. The gun sound is ten times better. Oh, I'm going to get a little bit of interference there. Come on. Yeah, let's continue. Let's continue. Let's give it a little bit more of a go. Uh, well, I don't understand it. Let's try the shotgun. Seems to have that weapon. Let's can change weapons also. Ah, yeah, right, ah, right. Damn. So, A button is your shotgun. Oh, what am I doing? Sound like a shotgun to you? Oh, I'm gone. Get rid of these yeah, uh, lines by a killer now, 1994, uh, Konami, and hopefully, this, I mean, don't be wrong, Rolling Thunder 2 is a bit of a disappointment, but Rolling Thunder 3, I, I actually really liked it, to be honest, when you get the machine gun, the gun, the, the firepower, the, the pistol's a bit slow, but, okay, oh, actually, is this Castlevania, educate me, somebody educate me on this, it's Castlevania, okay, It's very good. Music says. I take it the pat the patterning up the side is like cut film effect. Two young vampire hunters set out to fulfill their destiny. Push back the evil hordes and drive the vampire back into his dark netherworld. Very good. They're used to Japanese and doing that sort of um, parallax. Oh, that's cool, actually. Now, this is a bit more my show. You know, last night I watched. The um, reason I had late night last night, I stayed up late and watched. Uh, dot. Oh, what was it now? Oh my god, a hammer. Dr. Terror's Tale, uh, Dr. Terror's, Peter Cushing, Christopher Lee, Donald Sutherland, Roy Castle, uh, Alan Freeman, uh, Kenny Lynch, uh, it was a really good horror short story, I love horror short stories, it was brilliant, so I was up late last night playing that, so anyway, let's get this a couple of seconds, uh, okay, a really good film, one of my favourite, actually it's my favourite vampire movie, is Fearless Vampire Killers Roman Polanski movie uh, from the early 70s, late 60s. Absolutely brilliant horror. If you love your real technical uh, vampire movies, pretty similar to your Italian. In fact, I think it is an Italian. It might be an Italian horror, but filmed at Pinewood with an Italian cast. I, I'm not sure, it's a bit of a weird one, but it's really good horror film. Uh, fun, really funny. Uh, Alfie Bass as the uh, head vampire hunter, Roman Polanski as his sort of apprentice, and uh, I can't remember the Italian, is he Italian? The main head vampire, you would have seen him wear Eagles Dare. It's a bri brilliant film, brilliant film. Uh, it's also got, I think it's also called Dance of the Vampires, so he's fearless vampire hunters and Dance of the Vampires. It had about four, three different release names. Anyway, sorry. 
Um, right, there we go. So, one player. I thought he was going to start itself then, but he didn't. <clears throat> I'm just about there on that map, and all the vampires are there. Yeah, just stay away from all that bit, and just, just stay there. Oh, that's ace. Right, this is 16 bit. This should be achievable. The stuff that should be achievable on platforming now on um, modern consoles it must be amazing. Just that you don't do it. Just don't really win. Music says. I think I'll uh, nip up them steps and uh, I think I'll nip down them again, yeah. Alright, pal. <laughs> uh, no doubt is it no doubt, bro? So I've got Slam Dunk going here. Uh, well, the demo. Let's start it up. I think that says player one. <laughs> Pressing start. Oh, is this, I hope that's a story and I'm not missing something. Just keep pressing start. It's not a what's it an RPG is it? Okay. Uh, they don't speak Japanese. This is a miracle I'm getting through this bit. Oh, it's gonna be unplayable. So I've picked my team. I don't know, I've done it. Okay. That sounds pretty good. Right, so once you enter the D area, the camera angle changes and you right in front. It goes from side on. We can pass to. That's a bit awkward. Shit. Oh, you can't really cut the screen like that. Doesn't work for me. Makes me a bit RPG. -y. Then slam dunks. <laughs> I don't know what the blocking defence uh well, it's really annoying that way it cuts. Graphically it's pretty good. So sort of passing out. Yeah, that 
doesn't work. It doesn't work for me anyway. And obviously it's really difficult to know what's happening because I'm getting um, a lot of Japanese writing because I don't I don't understand it. It makes the gameplay, as you can imagine, very difficult. So that was like a power scale for your shots. It doesn't need this. That's the thing, it doesn't need it. That's it, right, okay. Okay, I'm still scoring. I'm done on this. I'll we'll turn it off like a little guided tour. So let's spin it round. I think he's looking a bit tidier myself. Um, probably not a patch on some of the, some of the setups out there, but you know I'm getting there, and it it suits me. You know what I mean? So yeah, lots of fun. Okay, guys, take care. See you later.